Okay, so let's have a, a look at some questions on trig sectors and triangles. Uh, useful for additional maths and IB standard level maths. Uh, okay, so here we go. Again, a very quick summary. Hopefully you should know this already. This idea between radians and degrees. Um, 180 degrees equals pi radians. 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. Area of a sector, um, which is one of these things. Uh, theta over 360 times pi r squared in degrees. Um, theta over 2 r squared in radians. Arc length, theta over 360, 2 pi r in degrees. Theta over 2 pi times 2 pi r, which then simplifies just to theta r in radians. And the area of a segment, that's the kind of the little bit that's left over, which is theta over 2 r squared, take away a half r squared sine theta. This second bit is the area of a triangle. Okay, so hopefully you know all this. So let's actually try some questions using this, uh, these ideas. So here's the first one. Um, we're given a triangle, calculate the size of PQR, and then the area of the triangle. So we have to sketch the triangle out first. Here we go, PR is 5, uh, QR is 4, PQ is 6. There's my angle. Um, there we go. I just basically remember my formulas. Uh, for this one, I'm going to use the cosine rule. Um, I've got the angle and the side opposite. So therefore, 5 squared equal to 6 squared plus 4 squared. Take away 2 times 6 times 4 cos theta. That's just the cosine rule. Um, if I rearrange and simplify, I get 0.5625 equals cos theta, inverse cos. I'm going to be in radians, so I'm going to get 0.973, dot, dot, dot. I've rounded it to three significant figures. Uh, part B, the area of the triangle. Um, I'm going to use the formula half AB sine C for the area of a triangle. So that's a half times the two sides that enclose the angle, 6 times 4 times sine of 0.973. Try to use a full answer, and I'm going to get 9.92. Okay, uh, this one's a bit more difficult. Uh, this time I've got uh, a circle. I've been given what the arc length is. And I'm beginning what the sector is, and this time we've got to find out what r and theta are. Okay, so step number one, let's actually write down the two formulas. My arc length formula is theta r, my area formula is theta over 2r squared, uh, unless I'm in radians, unless they say otherwise. Um, and then let, again, let's put in the information. I know the arc length is 24, so 24 equals theta r. And only the area of the sector is 180, so 180 equals theta over 2r squared. I'm then going to use this first equation to rearrange and get r on its own. So basically, uh, 24 divided by theta is equal to r. The reason I'm going to do that is that then I can basically substitute 24 over theta instead of this r here. So I just get uh, one equation. So with uh, one unknown. So 180 equals theta over 2, and then this is 24 over theta squared. Now, if I simplify that, I'm going to get 24 squared on the top, theta squared on the bottom. We've got a theta on the top, and obviously I've still got the 2 on the bottom. Uh, basically, I'll end up with 20, 24 squared divided by 2, which is 288, and theta divided by theta squared, which is theta to the minus 1. So I get this, 180 equals 288 theta to the minus 1. And if I solve that, I should get theta equals 1.6. And then if I get theta equals 1.6, stick in theta is 1.6 into this equation, 24 divided by 1.6, r is equal to 15. If you're not sure on how to solve this one, remember, just rewrite theta to negative 1 as 1 over theta. Okay, and then... Yeah, just rearrange from that. Okay, uh, next one. Uh, again, it's a bit tricky. Uh, we want to find the shaded area. Um, we can start by saying, well, what the area of the sector is. The sector is going to be the whole thing. The area of the sector is theta over 2r squared, which is 0.8 over 2 times 5 squared. So that gives me 10. It gives me the whole sector. Then I want to take away the area of this triangle. Now, unfortunately, I only have one side, and I don't have base and height. 
and I don't have the two enclosing sides. So we need to find either well, some extra sides so I can actually work out the area of this triangle. So I, I've just sketched out the triangle again. You'll notice it's a right angle triangle. I would like to have this side here, the, the X that I've marked here, because if I have this, I can then use the, the sine rule to find the area of the triangle. So I'm going to say, well, I want the adjacent. I've got the hypotenuse. Uh, there we go. I'll use the cosine rule, uh, so the Sokotoa rule uh, for cosine. So therefore, I've got cos of 0.8 equals adjacent, which is x over 5. That gives me x is 3.48 dot, 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 dot. Uh, now I've got that. I can then work out the area of this triangle using the uh, area of a triangle formula. So half times 5 times 3.48 dot, 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 times sine of 0.8. There we go. That gives me the area of the triangle. And then lastly, I take away the two answers, really. So the area of the sector, take away the area of the triangle. And then what's left must be the shaded region, which is 3.75. Okay, and then the last question. Um, firstly, uh, you have to be a little bit careful on this one. We, we're talking about uh, the perimeter of this of the sector A, O, B. Now, the, the perimeter of this whole uh, sector, they said, is 47. Now, if the perimeter is 47, so if I take away that 12 and take away that 12, the arc length here is just going to be 23, because I do 47, take away 12, take away 12. So the arc length is 23. My formula for the arc length is r times theta. I know that the radius is 12, so 23 equals 12 times theta. 23 divided by 12 is 1.92 to two decimal places. Okay, uh, next one says find the length of CD. Well, I've marked in the 1.92 that I already know. The length of CD, which is this line here, you'll notice that's exactly the same as the line from A to B. So I'll, I'll find this length instead. That's going to be the same as this length here. Uh, you'll see that um, I'm going to use the trigonometry. So I've got side, 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 and angle. So I'm going to use the cosine rule. So there's my cosine rule a squared equals 12 squared plus 12 squared. Um, take away 2 times 12 times 12 times cos 1.92. So there we go. Um, stick it into the formula. And uh, therefore, if I rearrange it, I should get a is 19.6. Okay, and then the very last one. Um, given the total area is 425, find the length of AD. Well, again, I marked in that this is 12.6, uh, sorry, 19.6 from my previous answer. And this is basically uh, what I don't know. That's what I want to find, the length of AD. Now, basically, I've marked out this kind of shaded area here. If I can work out the area of this shaded region, the area of this blue shaded region plus the area of this rectangle, that must give me an answer of 425. So there we go, the total area is area of the rectangle plus this segment here. Now the area of the segment, I'm going to use this formula here, theta over 2 r squared, take away a half r squared sine theta. That's area of the sector, area of the triangle. So there we go, the area of the segment, 1.92 over 2 times 12 squared, take away half times 12 squared times sine 1.92. That gives me this blue shaded region. And then you can kind of think of it like algebra if you want. So basically 19.6 times by x, that gives me the area of the rectangle, plus this area that I've just worked out, the segment. The answer must be 425. Well, if I do a little bit of maths on that one, I'm basically going to do 425, take away my answer for the area of the segment, divide by 19.6, that's going to give me x, uh, and I get x is 18 um, to two significant figures. Uh, obviously, try and be as accurate as you can. Uh, try not to round too early, but yeah, I've, I've rounded it to two significant figures, so I get 18. Uh, if you're doing IB, do three significant figures. 
Uh, so there we go. So these are a few questions uh, to do with um, trig and sectors and segments.